Hey, how's it going, team? Welcome to The Modern Creative, where we help you become a Logic Pro Power user. In the Apple Community Forum, we have an individual that has a sustain pedal, but it is inverted. What does that mean? Essentially means that rather than pushing down and getting the sustain effect, the opposite is happening. The sustain pedal is always on, and when you press down, then you can actually cut off the sound. So let's read here. It says, I've been using Logic for a while now with my keyboard. Everything has worked perfectly. I recently bought a sustain pedal and tried it in main stage, and it works fine. However, in Logic, while it does register my pedal, all of the pedal data is set to zero, both when I push it up and down, which means I have to change every first pedal value to 127 and keep every second as zero. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can help this individual out. And so here is the schematics. We're going to go into the environment and we're going to switch the polarity on sustained pedals. Simply put, you create a transformer and you basically just flip the polarity so that it's backwards. All right, so let's go into Logic Pro. We'll hit Command Zero. I'm going to make sure that you're in the Clicks and Ports section here. Go to New and create a transformer. Now you want to make sure that you route this, be very specific. The sum goes to the transformer, the transformer goes to the input notes, the input notes goes into the view, and then that goes into the sequencer input. Now when I double click the transformer, on the right hand side, this is the information that you need in order to get this done. Go into equal sign, control, through, we're taking data byte 64 and we're reversing it. So that is the sustain pedal message there. And so now you should be good to go. I'm sure there's probably another way of doing this and I would love to hear some of your thoughts. I know there's a lot of people out there that are just really clever when it comes to MIDI. But if we go down here to 64, you see that this is the sustain MIDI CC, so I'm sure you can actually do it with a modifier as well. So, just wanted to throw that out there to all of my Logic people. Visit the community. There's a lot of great individuals here, and you can definitely brush up on your knowledge. So, thank you so much for watching. This is Eddie Gray. If you want to support the channel, go ahead and check out the links in the description. There's a lot of ways to support us, so we really do appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. Let's keep pushing the envelope, and let's keep taking this game to the next level. We'll see you next time. Take good care.